Welcome to the Marine Channel, my name's David. By the look of this heat and sun, you'd think we were in the Med again, but we're actually in the north of England on Lake Windermere in the Lake District. Today we want to show you a Spanish boat. It's an Astandoa 46 Fly. It's built by a family-run firm in the fourth generation. They've been building high-quality boats for over 100 years now. Um, and we want to say thanks to the guy at Shepherd's Boat Sales for letting us have a look at it today and, and film a little tour for you. So come and have a look inside. Right, I'm going to start on the stern on the bathing platform. The first thing you notice is how big this is. So for a 2003 boat, I reckon this is a really big size um, bathing platform here. You could certainly get a tender on here and there is actually uh, facilities here to put some davits. I don't know whether you could winch it up from that uh, or just lift it on, obviously, um, or just put a couple of chairs out here. It'd be a really nice place to sit. Let's have a quick look round. And what you do see, or begin to see, is the quality of the materials and fittings that they've used. This tube here is for your stern lines, might go that way. If you're in the med, obviously you'd be stern two moored against the quay, but really solid, chunky stainless steel there. Teak on the bathing platform. Um, again, over here, we've got another tube for your stern line there. Here, you've got a um, shower for hot and cold water. Under here, we have a bathing ladder but it's a really nice wide one. It's not one of those sort of narrower ones that you often find on boats, but it's certainly a great place to start the boat and, uh, and get a feeling for it. Let's go into the cockpit. As I come into the cockpit, the first thing I have to um, get through, I guess, is this really solid and wide gate here, which locks in place there and is really secure if you've got small children running around um, and I guess even pets. Cockpit itself, really good size. And as you go through the boat, you'll see the spaciousness for what is a 46 foot boat is really impressive. Today, we've got the covers down. Um, normally you would probably have them up in this weather, hopefully. Um, but once you do that, it merely makes it a great open space, but you have got the overhang from the flybridge, which is gonna give you some protection from the sun. If you're in the winter with these down, it really is a warm place. And I can tell you that today for sure. But if you could uh, open the, the doors there and let the heat out, it's just a really useful extra room. In the ceiling here, we've got some lighting, speakers for the stereo. Seating wise, we've got a bench seat along the back. You'd certainly get three or four on, nice size table. This owner has a couple of freestanding chairs here. On the floor there, we have the access into the rear lazarette and through to the engine room. We've got either side some really good sized deep storage cupboards, put all that paraphernalia in, um, proper steps up to the flybridge, which again for a 2003 boat um, is a really nice feature rather than having to negotiate a ladder. At the back here as well we see the stern gear, so we saw those tubes on the transom, in comes your stern line onto this really chunky stainless cleat there. So, we're beginning to see the kind of quality that we have on this boat. Right, let's go into the saloon and have a look at the rest of the accommodation. So we come in through these sliding doors here and you come into what is a really good size saloon, lounging area, living area. Now I'm gonna look on the port side first. So here we have TV. They've got a Bose little portable speaker hooked up to it there and a soundbar underneath. But again, you see the quality of the woodwork here and also the really nice features. Look at these drawers. So they slide out like that. I think that's really cool. Now on this side we've got certainly a double sofa there. We've got some nice size windows here. And then on the starboard side, we've got this C-shaped seating area, which would certainly seat six and a decent sized dining table here. And again, you've got a great view out over wherever you are on both sides. So if I just go forward in here, we've got the all important drinks cabinet and it's a really good size. You've got space for all your bottles down there, plenty of room for glasses up there. Now in the saloon here, we have carpet on the floor. And as we step up here, we go to this solid wood. And we've got two sides up here. We've got the helm, come to that in a second. And here we've got the galley. So the galley is kind of curved and again, quite stylish. 
And what we've got in here is two burner hob there, decent sized workspace around you. Under here, we've got a fridge with an ice box in the top there. Then we've got some nice storage under there and a combi oven there. Again, more workspace here. And under here, we've got two, again, really nice quality stainless sinks. And if you are the person in the galley cooking, that's your view out today in Windham and Marina. So the side, and then you've got the view out from the front screen as well. So certainly plenty of light and a great view. So Helm Station, we've got a double seat there, a little footstep down there. And if I just jump in here, so we've got two kind of levels to this. So here in this arch section, we've got all your engine dials, pressures, temperatures, tachometers, tanks, warning lights. And as we come back, we've got this section here, which has got all your main switch gear, compass, trim tabs, bow thruster here, ignition switches, obviously. Down here, we've got EDC electronic controls and the activation from those switch between stations. And what you've also got here is this big flat space where you can fit MFD screens. Now this boat has always been on Windermere for all its life um, and that's really important because it means that it's always run on fresh water. So access to the engine room is from the cockpit here with this large opening locker lid. Now it doesn't go straight into the engine room, it goes into what is effectively a lazarette. Now in here you have got the exhausts obviously coming through and the calorifier but there's an awful lot of storage here for, I don't know, paddle boards and inflatable dinghies and, and any other paraphernalia that you have with you. But it's a, it's a great space. And then from there, you go forward into what is the engine room proper. Now these engines are TMD 75Ps, Volvo Pentas. Really, really excellent engines these. Got a great reputation, um, pretty bulletproof. Uh, and these ones have only done 460 hours. Um, which is very low hours. I mean, you'd normally, on a boat this age, expect to see them probably more like one and a half thousand. So very low hours. And don't forget, that's in fresh water as well. So you haven't got that corrosive salt water um, running through your heat exchangers. Right, let's wander down on these lovely wooden steps to the accommodation. Now again, remember, 46 foot boat, and we've got three cabins down here. So this is the first twin cabin. And you can see you've got little reading lights up there, a bit of storage down the sides. And what you've also got in here is a port there for air and ventilation. And in here, a good size wardrobe with some drawers down at the bottom. Now, if I go to the starboard side, we've got pretty much a mirrored cabin here. Again, twins. Again, we've got that reading light above the bed there, a bit of storage there. Up here we've got another locker in there. Again we've got that port and in here we've got another good size wardrobe with some drawers down here at the bottom. So those are your two cabins and then in the bow we've got what is the, the master cabin. So if I just come over here, you can see I've got that centre berth, mirror behind it to create the illusion of more space. Over the sides, we've got storage shelf, vent there. Here's storage for knickknacks and, and a cup holder. We've got speakers, we've got ports either side, plus hatch onto the foredeck. We've got reading lights and if I just come either side we've got his and hers wardrobes which again are a really good size. If I just come over here I'll show you this side. Pretty much the same. 
again, decent space. And also in here, we have a TV. But again, you see the quality of this wood. It's really nicely put together. So what you also have in this boat is an ensuite for the master cabin. So we've got a little work surface there, got plenty of sort of storage down there, got this lovely wood trim. And again, in bathrooms, often wood can suffer, but this is literally like new, which I guess emphasises its low usage. Nice size sink there. And then in here, we've got a shower cubicle, which has a solid door. Wooden grate that goes down there, shower over there. And then if I just close this door, behind the door, we've got a loo. So great to see an ensuite in a 46 foot boat. But that's not the main bathroom, obviously. That's here. So this is for the two other cabins and I guess the day heads as well. So we've got, again, all that lovely wood, which is in absolutely pristine condition. Storage cupboard under there. Decent sized sink again. Nice size tap and fittings. Got more storage down there. Just tuck it over there. We've got our port there. The corner there. We've got the loo, and if I close the door, again, we've got a shower with a solid door. No curtains here, although there is a little curtain in here, but I think that's kind of belt and braces. But it means you're not going to get everything else soaked in here. Okay, that's your main accommodation. Let's go and have a look onto the foredeck. So as you can see, decent sized side decks around here with grub holds above. This owner's put fender baskets down the side, keep those tucked out of the way and keep them out of the cockpit. But on the foredeck here, we've got this large sun pad, I guess there's some cushions to go in here, drinks holders down here. Then just moving forward, hatch down into that master cabin, decent sized delta anchor, electric windlass here. And in there, we've got all the chains stowed away. Right, up onto the flybridge by these very comfortable steps and very safe, I have to say as well. So up on the flybridge here, you've got the extra floor space that having a flybridge gives you. Interestingly on Windermere, the split of boats, well, let's go back. It's a, an 80-20 split between sailboats and motorboats. And then of those motorboats, 80% are actually sports cruisers. And again, you'll see a few lying around here. These are represent 20% of the boats on Windermere. Um, and it does mean you get that extra floor area. So um, take your pick really. So up here, we've got seating here, helm here. Let's sit down and have a look at this helm station. So firstly, we've got all the repeats of those engine gauges, temperatures, pressures. We've got ignition keys here, obviously. We've got the bow thruster control here, trim tabs. We've got those electronic EDC controls here and again, the panel to switch between station. So you've got all your major controls. Steering, and again, a really good view. So I'm looking down, see all the foredeck, and I can see literally everything around me. Also here, we've got a little cubby hole. You might wanna throw your phone in there or whatever it might be. But this seat here is gonna take certainly three, if not four people. So it means most of the family can um, be sitting and watching where you're going. If we move aft, we've got what is a great size wraparound seating area, which again, you'd certainly get eight people on, I guess, six, eight easily, um, central table. Uh, and again, you know, brilliant view from up here from wherever you are. Um, there's covers that go over all this, uh, so it's all nicely enclosed. But this has been quite an eye opener for me. Never looked around in Astandoa before, really high quality. I think brilliant use of space. You know, you've got two bathrooms, three cabins, and, uh, and this is a particularly good example because it's been really low usage, and as I say, on uh, fresh water, so you haven't got that salt water corrosion potential. This boat on with Shepherds, 169,995. I think it's great value. If you're interested at all, numbers down there. But thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe if you've enjoyed it. 
like this video, and if you think any of your friends would be interested, feel free to share it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.